play, you know who's in the penalty box again. Oh, hell no. Again? What are you, serving a life sentence? Can't you get something for good behavior? I mean, you know how Claudia gets if she even thinks I'm having sex with another girl, you know? She cuts it off to teach me a lesson. Come on, man. What is the purpose of marriage, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot more to marriage than just sex. A lifelong companionship, being in love, helping one another realize each other's goals? And surrendering your family jewels. How many times do you do it a week? What? Twice, if that. <laughs> Missionary style, right? Wrong. <laughs> You know, ever since Francine's been doing yoga, we've incorporated a lot of new positions, such as uh, the, the downward facing dog, my favorite, the wheelbarrow. Oh, come on, man. Oh, you have the sex to play a family reunion games. Next thing you know, you're going to be doing a potato sack or the pie eater. <laughs> oh, oh, I know Francine, you're already doing the pie eater. <laughs> you know, what I don't understand is why isn't Parrish fighting for Cheryl? Wow. Yo, she's fine and successful, and you know you're still in love with her. Was in love with her. Past tense. Okay, that's your ego speaking. What does your heart say? Dude, you're killing me, man. That broad said that P wasn't in her league. Go back to that? Please. Look, P is doing just fine with this whole dating extravaganza that I'm set up, right? I mean, it's been a few misses. I did meet Tina, though. And she had a fat. Yeah, I heard about it. Mm -hmm. peace. I'm a little anxious to see the other half of these selections because a brother like me is starting to get my swagger back. Yeah, I'm living through you, man. Like, you like my avatar. I'm laying back like this. Yeah. <laughs> right Take here. me over, man. Take me over. <laughs> Getting your swagger back. That's what I like here, yeah. man. Yes, sir. All right. Find yourself a six legged horse and strap on, Jake Sully. Because tonight I'm hooking you up. Word? Mm hmm. With your very own speed dating session. What? <laughs> Yo, man, I thought, I just felt the need to up the ante a little bit, man. So, you know, I'm at the gym, I put a little note next to your headshot <laughs> on the community board asking the young ladies, the single ones, to come through, meet my man Pete. Sweet, sweaty chicks. Ah, I'm gonna watch this while I get faded, all right? Another round, another round! Hello, can you talk these things over with me first before you start executing your poorly thought out plans? Yeah, save the talking for the babes, man. Oh. Okay. The babes. Mm hmm. In a nutshell, I pull in 650K a year, so I don't need a man financially. A successful sister such as myself has an assortment of needs that only a real man can fulfill. I expect to get my back blown out every night with no unnecessary talking. I thought I was gonna be late getting here today. This afternoon, my roommate tried to possess me. <laughs> Silly girl. Anyway, what's your birthday? I need the time and the location because I need to know what I'm dealing with here. Why are you looking at me like that? When my Harvey died, I thought I'd mix things up and satisfy some of my schoolgirl fantasies. Ever since I saw Harry Belafonte sing Banana Boat Song at Carnegie Hall in 1960, I knew milk chocolate would someday be a part of my life. Here I am. Oh. I brought you some brownies. The secret is extra chocolate. I hope you're a healthy man with a high tolerance for pain. Because, slave, my sessions aren't for the faint-hearted. Do as I say, or you shall be punished. Now, lick my boots. Guys give me compliment on my body and my looks all the time. And rightfully so. But I'm ready to date a normal guy with not so much going on, because I have to be the main attraction. My therapist told me it'd be great for my self-esteem. And with these babies, 
all eyes are on me. Father God, we come here to bring you two God-fearing, Jesus-loving souls looking for companionship under your guidance, Father God. Yes, 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 yes. And I pray that Parrish's intentions are pure and transparent, Father God, and that he can manage to keep his hands off my supple breasts and my ripe fruit until woo, holy matrimony, or else I will cut him through the bone, Father God. So. What do you like to do in your spare time? You recognize me from Girls Gone Wild, seven, nine, and 14. But that's all behind me now. I'm all about baking and cleaning house and the occasional threesome here and there. I'll do anything for my man. Don't be thinking I can't get no man or nothing like that. Because as you can see, I am the bomb. Pew! I just need the right kind of man that's gonna accept my kids, Nouveau, Alizé, and Infinity, and the fact that they daddy coming back in eight to 10 years. But that don't mean he gonna be hitting it again. You feel me? So listen, baby boy. I'm burnt out with all of the sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I wanna set base and, you know, establish a real healthy dating set. As soon as this penicillin kicks in, I'll be good to go. Hi, I'm Melanie. Once he found out I had a bun in the oven, he pulled a Houdini. Poof, gone. Just like that. I'm not gonna let being knocked up keep me from dating. I mean, look at me. I'm six months in and I look good. You know you kind of sweet, right? You kind of cute. I like the way you wearing your hat to the side, got your little gray popping. You know what I'm saying? You accessorizing and shit. That's what's up. I did the lesbo thing, you know what I'm saying, when I was locked up. But only a man can truly satisfy me. Since I got out, I got back in the game, you know what I'm saying? I got me a couple of corners with some runners. I'm making paper. But paper ain't nothing if I ain't got no boo to come home to. You feel me? Ride or die. You hella sexy. <laughs> what position you like? Huh? Yeah, I know how to break shot ones down. That's all good. Mm hmm I just have five questions for you. I'm all ears. Kobe or LeBron? Kobe. Okay. Toilet paper. Over or under? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Over. Pajamas or naked? Bucky naked? <laughs> In the nude. <laughs> okay, okay. Joe Montana or Steve Young? Oh. Ah, you're playing dirty now. Wow. Joe Montana, Steve Young. Uh, Steve Young. Okay. It's not bad so far. All right. All right. Then. This one's a toughie, though. Okay. okay. You get this wrong, I leave. It's over. This is never be. I might even point and laugh as I leave. Are oh, you playing hardball? Well, I thought eighty percent was passing. Perfection is a bitch, ain't it? Okay. 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 Here we go. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The Beatles or the Stones? If you start me up, if you start me up, I never stop. Okay. Look at the lips, look at the lips. If you start me up. Okay. Big right, Jagger, right, baby. All right. The I'm stones, you. you can't front on okay. the stones. You, uh, you know it. That was good. You always use those five questions when you're getting to know a guy? Uh, it depends. I mean, you can't just be a handsome sports and rock fan, you know? You know, it's, the substance is key for me. Mm, I agree. I agree. I can tell you're a very selective woman. Thank you. I like that. Daddy and everybody's no fool. So why come to the speed dating thing? Which wasn't my idea, by the way. You see this yeah, fake actually, I window know. Delroy brother? No. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, I work out like five days a week um, at the gym. Um, 
Blue is kind of blowing your business or telling oh. everybody about it. So, but for someone to take so much time for their homeboy, obviously you must be somebody special. So I said, let me come out and see what is it about this guy. Appreciate your honesty. Okay, you know what? I'm lying. I'm lying. I really, I didn't have anything to do. I just figured I'd come out and see all these uh, crazies to buy for your love. <laughs> I mean, how can I resist? It's like Flavor of Love in dinner theater. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You're comparing me to Flavor. <laughs> wow. Now, I appreciate that honesty. <laughs> Jeez. You know what, though? I will say this. You seem like you're a really nice guy. But, like, it sneaks up on them, you know? Like, you're playing Mr. Nice Guy, and before she knows it, she's wearing your shirt, bringing your sandwiches in bed. The girl didn't even know it hit her. Mm. Yeah. That's you. Interesting. You paint me out to be nice and conniving in the same breath. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, as long as you don't take my niceness for weakness, it's all great. But, uh, you know, Mr. Nice Guy, those days are long gone. It's fun. I like nice guys. Did I tell you how much of a nice guy I was? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I tried. I tried. It's working. <laughs> I hope so. Um, you know what? Let's go. Really? Yeah, let's. let's go. Okay. Cheryl, it's Chauncey. If you want your man back, you better get over here now. Question for you: Are you um, one of those guys that believes in love at first sight, soulmate kind of stuff? Uh, what do I know? I mean, I've been dumped, going on a bunch of blind dates, set up by my friends. Okay, stop! Yeah. Don't don't do that. Women don't really find that deprecating thing very attractive. So. Deprecating. I don't mean to be so honest, but I would think you'd appreciate it. You know, women consider that as low confidence. You seem weak. I mean, you're you're too good to have a tag like that. Look at you, sharing the secret rule book of women. You know, snitches get snitches. <laughs> okay. Nah, you're right, though. Absolutely right. I got into a bad habit of doing that lately. And I, you know what, whatever. Because you know, it stops here, it stops right now, at this very moment. See, there you go, that's the spirit. That's there it. Go. The Just real Paris Diaz is back on the scene, laying it down and taking no prisoners. <laughs> okay. Especially from you, <laughs> and you. What? So, um, this new what? parish, well, what do we have in our arsenal? Carol, you don't know about me? Enlighten me. I got the dance moves of MJ. <laughs> okay. Got the swag of Denzel. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I also have the smoothness oh. of Billy D. Williams. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, I didn't give you permission to kiss me. The real Paris Diaz doesn't need permission to kiss you. Hmm, so if you think that I'm gonna bring a sandwich to your bedroom, you got another thing coming to you. You know what? What? It's all too much. Do I? Yes, you do. Parish. Cheryl? So, um, you're the infamous Cheryl? Who are you? I'm that woman 
that woman who lets a man be a man and take care of his business, which sometimes involves handling an ex. Look, you know what? Um, I had a really good time. I'm gonna go. Casey, okay, so you don't have to. No, 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 no. Look, look. Just handle your business. Wow. Do you just? Kissing random women in the park. Oh, look, first of all, don't even start questioning or judging anything I do. You forfeited those privileges. Plus, I'm sure you've done your rounds on the dating circuit okay, yourself, so okay, don't even right, try okay, that with Parrish, me. Look, I didn't come looking for you to argue. Then what? Huh? I'm here... I'm here because I wanted to say that... I'm sorry. And I want you back. What? You kidding me, right? Look, I hurt your feelings out of fear. Maybe I'm willing to work on gaining your forgiveness back. I just want you to know that I love you and that I want to be with you. Wow. Jeez. You are something else. Yes. Thought I was out of your league. Okay. I deserve that. I deserve it. You think I can forget the pain you caused me? The confusion okay, in my you life? You can try. You Look, think I can forget all those things try. you said to me? We can try. We can try. We can start. We can start tonight. At my house. You showed up in my life. When I was lost. Oh, perish. Oh. oh, that was so wonderful. You really do have that magic touch. Having you back in my life has been the greatest gift ever. Wait till not the years that we're back together. She would jump for joy knowing that marriage and children will soon follow. Ooh. I think I'm pregnant. What? Hey there, sleepyhead. I hope you're hungry. I made your favorite. Feta cheese and spinach omelet with bagels. You're looking a little on the thin side. Yeah, well, that usually happens when you've been food poisoned. You're gonna have your heart tap danced on with stilettos. Parrish, I thought we said we'd move on from what happened in the past. And when did we have that discussion? Last night after you spiked my drink? <laughs> Don't be so silly. We had a few drinks, that's all. You know you can never hold your liquor. And don't worry, I did not take advantage of you. You fell right to sleep and I just read a little. After a few minutes, I got tired and I went to sleep in your arms like old times. Well, slow down. Don't go walking through the pearly gate so fast, Cheryl. I don't forget so easily. Yes, I know you have a memory like an elephant. But it's no denying it, Parrish. You still love me. Don't you? Um, remember how you used to massage my feet? 
or how we used to watch Tyler Perry movies. <laughs> he left us in stitches. And what about the times we used to slow dance to old school jams? Don't you miss it? You want to know something? I hate Tyler Perry movies. And sometimes your feet smelt a little cheesy. But I did those things because I wanted to be with you. And then you tell me I'm not in your league? Okay, Parrish, like, you're I'm exaggerating, Parrish. Hey, sweetie, as much as it pains me to say this, you're not in my league. Maybe I did say those things out of, out of fear or pressure from my mother. But baby, I was wrong. And I'm willing to make it up to you. It's no denying our chemistry. What about the Jack Rabbit from Yale? Hey. He's still in the picture? <laughs> How did you know? Paris, that was you below my patio? <laughs> like, you kissed a man? What? Hell no, I ain't kissed no man. That was an extremely hot French model with the affinity for the insane and adventure. Oh, so these one of these little dates you've been going on like the girl you was kissing in a park? What you know about it? <sighs> Chauncey filled me in on your little silly escapades. Chauncey. Okay. Wait until I see Mr. Yoga Master. <sighs> this is not about Chauncey. This is about you numbing your pain over our foolish breakup. You don't care anything about these girls. You know what? You're so good at sizing up a person's worth and existence, aren't you? I'm sorry, but I know you no, don't care No, let me about... tell you something. I met a lot of nice, um, ladies doing this. And you know what? I'm seeing what's out there. And I'm learning that the world does not revolve around Cheryl Woodson. I don't care about the world. I just want you, Parrish. That's all that matters. What do I have to do to prove this to you? Make my breakfast to go. Look, I don't have any idea what's going to happen, but I need to do this. Okay. You do what you got to do, Parrish. I know that when all of this is over, you will know that I'm the woman for you. The one who truly loves you. Do you want some butter on your muffin? Um, you know what? I think, um, I think I should probably eat here. I mean, you know, you don't need to let Thai food get cold. It's the least I can do. Cook them all. <laughs> Whatever you say, baby. You're the boss. Dreams, melody. Time cries, willow tree. Holding hands, lost 